What's up, Bee Nation? We've had so many questions about what we liked better, Charleston or Savannah. So let's get into it. So we've recently visited two beautiful cities of the South, Charleston, South Carolina, and Savannah, Georgia. Both gorgeous places to visit. And we've gotten a lot of questions like, which one's better, Charleston or Savannah? You know, they're both beautiful cities of the South. They both have this kind of like swampy feel to them. So if you're going to visit one, which one should you visit? So let's start with attractions. They're both only three hours away. The three hours away from each other? Yeah, they're only two hours away. These two places have a lot of similarities. They're only two hours away. They both have beautiful beach towns next to them and they were both built a long time ago. Both have a history of being port cities. They're both on the water. And they both have some amazing architecture. And food. And food. So we've kind of broken it down into four sections to really bring you our opinions of both cities. So the first is attractions. When it comes to attractions, my opinion is that there's more to do in Charleston. You can visit the historical Fort Sumter. You can walk or run over the Ravenel Bridge. They have an amazing horse carriage tour, which changes every time you go on it. There's six different ones, and it's decided which one you go on by a lottery system. They have an amazing river walk. They have an amazing historic downtown. The entire city of Charleston is surrounded by water, and it is just absolutely beautiful. So that's my personal opinion. When you compare that to Savannah, what we saw is that it has a river walk, not as pretty as Charleston. But there is more stuff to do on the Riverwalk itself. In That's Charleston, true. there's a giant park called Battery Park, and then some shops along the Riverwalk, but nothing compared to Savannah, which has a giant four-story building on the Riverwalk, and it's got a lot of shops, pastry shops, and really good restaurants on the Riverwalk. But it is just a river, unlike Charleston, which is a true bay. It's a harbor that flows right out to the ocean. As far as attractions go for Savannah, they do have all of the park blocks. And that does include tours that like take you around the park blocks to historic places like the park bench in Forrest Gump, which is pretty cool. There are, what, 30 some park blocks scattered around the historical downtown area. It is really beautiful and you could easily spend an entire day walking around. But unlike Charleston, the park tours in Savannah are done on a trolley. So in Charleston, you're on a horse, the fan one's on a trolley, one's air conditioned, one's not. I don't know what you'd rather have. It's up to you. Now on to aesthetics. Again, this is kind of a personal opinion, but if you're taking advice from us, this is what we'll tell you. The aesthetics of Charleston are so cute. They are, it is the cutest city I think I have ever been to. It's very colorful. I think it kind of takes on like a Caribbean influence. If that's incorrect, please tell me, but it's so vibrant. And we did visit there in the summertime. The foliage was so green and lush and tropical. And it just was the most charming place I have ever been. It truly felt like an island getaway while you're on the mainland of the United States. It was really cool. I loved it. Personal love. Savannah to me felt more like a bigger city. So it kind of lost that quaint charm that Charleston has. The buildings are beautiful. They're less colorful. Things are less um, exotic. Things, yeah, things feel a little, a little less exotic, I think is the right word for it. Things are a little bit less colorful. Mm -hmm. Opinions. Opinions. And not to say that Savannah isn't a beautiful city because it is. Like the Spanish moss and the park blocks and the architecture, they're all beautiful. It just doesn't have that kind of quaintness that Charleston has. And because it's so big and because it is more of a city, it's a little bit more dirty. Dirty? <laughs> it's a little bit. Less Copyright clean. carpenter term. It's a little less dirty. Clean. Oh it's my god. New York City's dirty. Salisbury's right, dirty. Texas is dirty. There's Everyone's dirty. City, it's a little dirty. Cities Honey. become dirty. Honey. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, all cities are dirty. Yeah. I tend to disagree with Leah. I feel like Charleston is a bigger city. It is the biggest city in South Carolina, and Savannah is just like a small town to me. But I think the side of Charleston that Leah saw was the neighborhood. Yeah. We really didn't go to the commercial center of the city. We stayed in the neighborhoods because the houses are so exotic, and it really felt like we were in a different place. Whereas in Savannah, the neighborhood is kind of in the middle of the city, and so you get the city center with the neighborhood feel. I really like Savannah because they have SCAD there, and there's a lot of artists just painting, reading, sitting all in these park blocks all over the city, and you really feel like you're somewhere else, not a normal American suburb. And now onto nightlife. We are not big spenders. We don't really go out to the bars, but what we can tell you is 
they both have really good nightlife. So both cities are very popular for bachelorette and bachelor parties. We saw many while we were in both, in both cities. However, there are different laws because there are different states. In Savannah, you can have a drink on the street just like you can in New Orleans. There is no open container law. But in Charleston, you cannot. As far as like bar culture goes, I think they're pretty similar. Like both have amazing cuisine, they're both on the water, they both have lots of fresh seafood, they both have s different food cultures, but they're both quite amazing. So when it comes to nightlife, I think they probably equal out. One thing we will tell you is that Savannah has a really cool bar bike system where you just hop on the bike and there's a bar in the middle. This is in a lot of cities, but they don't have that in Charleston because there's so many cobblestone streets and you can't actually get around on a bicycle. So in my opinion, Savannah wins the bar culture because you can be out in public drinking. But if you want to drink on a rooftop in Charleston, that's totally cool because you can actually see the bay where Savannah doesn't have a lot of rooftop bars. The last section is kind of devoted to like things you can do for free or things you can do outside of the city. So wherever Zach and I go, we usually just walk around. Like that is our favorite thing to do in any destination, in any city, everywhere we go. We're just like, let's just walk around and see what it's like. If you're going to Charleston, you're probably gonna walk around the downtown area and they have one nice park called Battery Park. It's right on the water, it has beautiful views and it has amazing houses right there next to it. You get the views of the amazing houses, they're colorful, they're vibrant, there's so many people around. In Savannah, you have 27 plus park blocks you can explore. They're a little bit more secluded from each other. You're not gonna find a lot of people in one of them, you're probably gonna find most people that are visiting Savannah next to the Riverwalk. Exactly, which could also be considered as one long park. But with the small parks, Savannah, in my opinion, wins in parks. So, so do we, are we disagreeing on Charleston versus Savannah? Because I personally am on the side of Charleston and it sounds to me like you're on the side of Savannah. Well, I really like Savannah, but if I had an option of where I wanna take my friends, I would take them to Charleston because I feel like there's more to see. It's more exotic again, like we've been saying. Yeah. But if I was to take my mom or grandmother somewhere, it would probably be Savannah. So things around both destinations, Charleston has Folly Beach, which is only 22 minutes south. It's a local favorite, it has beautiful views, it has a great lighthouse. People really love Folly Beach. And Savannah has Tybee Beach, I think that's how you say that, which has a really old lighthouse, and again, it's a lot smaller and more quaint than Charleston's Folly Beach. Savannah also has Hilton Head, which is a huge destination for a lot of people. It's about an hour away, and I don't really know much about Hilton Head, but that's not what we're making this video on. So in conclusion, it's really up to you. I think Savannah has a more of a bigger city feel. Charleston to me seems a little bit more quaint. Both are beautiful, both have amazing Spanish moss. We haven't even talked about Spanish moss, and I think because we like overly talked about it in, in both, both videos. videos. <laughs> both cities have beautiful swampy scenery. They both have amazing food. I just think you get kind of like a more quaint, colorful feel in Charleston. So the choice is really yours, depending on what you wanna do. There are a lot of other videos like this out there, but this is just our personal take on two amazing American cities that only happen to be two hours apart. Thanks for watching. They have an amazing horse. <laughs> Ching. Yeah.